All right, I'm hoping things kick off here. Benny P here with Lively Lakes Fly Fishing. I just got out to one of my favorite rivers here in central Pennsylvania, and I was expecting some killer dry fly activity, but so far I've been out here for about a half hour, and I'm not seeing fish rise. I have granum caddis in the air. There's granum caddis on the side of the trees. There's caddis all through this area, but as of right now, you know, I'm lucky to see one riser every 10 minutes and that's not what I want to see so I'm gonna sit here on the bank I'm gonna wait it out a little bit and as soon as I start seeing fish rise I'm gonna get out here with the camera and I'm gonna to try to do a video of catching fish top water granum caddis hatch before I start the video since I have a little bit of time I'm gonna run over the equipment I'll be using today and the reel I'm gonna be using is a Reddington Rise 5.6 I paired that up with classic trout the Reddington classic trout rod this is a five weight nine nine foot five weight uh, the avid trout line from Rio's on there I have a 5x nine foot leader it's the also leader I also like the Rio leaders and the tip that I'll be using since I'm dry fly fishing is gonna be the Rio power flex tippet most likely 5x fly I'll be using today is an elk hair caddis size 14 in black and it does really nice on the granum caddis hatch at least for me it does uh, if you look at a granum flip it over their body is black their wings are kind of like a peppered between a brown and a black I'll catch a couple and show you and uh, it's a nice representation of that actual bug so let me sit here see if I hear any more risers see where they're at and get out there and catch some fish on video all right, I just saw a little one rising right in here. Came up one time, but there's not much going on, so I'm gonna head on out and see if I can pick them up. There we go, got a first one of the day. Back the camera up a little bit here. Oh, it should be good right there. Check out this beauty. There's a beautiful looking little wild brownie. Wireless hook came right out. All right, way to start it off. Not a ton of risers right now, but if I see one rising, I'm going to try to set up the camera. I'm going to go over and try to catch it. So one down. Let's see if we can get a few more on camera. I'm not sure how well that's going to show up on the camera. The eye's about a mile away. But uh, my dry fly, I have an elk hair caddis, black. It was sinking, and I was bringing it up through. They just came up and started nailing it. So I missed two, caught the third one. I guess I'm going to fish some emergers. That's what they're taking. Uh, and see if I can get some emerger fishing in. So I'm going to use my dry fly like an emerger. And there's another 
Beautiful wild brown, second one in. Okay, there it is. That's one of our black elk hair caddis. And that bugger, it was sinking. So whenever I started pulling it back up to me, fish came up and nailed it. I did it again, and I sunk it on purpose. Fish came up and nailed it. By four or five casts, I've had three fish come up and nailed it. So I'm gonna head back out there and see if I can get into another one. Let me zoom in a little more on this one. Okay, same thing. Black elk hairs caddis. And uh, if the fish aren't going to come to the top to eat and they're going to be eating all the emergers, you got to do what the fish want you to do to catch them. And uh, caught that one. I threw out. I let it sink. I started stripping it up through the water. And I thought this was going to be a dry fly fishing video. This is going to be an emerger video. Pretty good filming opportunity here. There's a cluster of caddis. Sitting here filming the granums on that tree and I hear a fish feeding out in front of me so might as well head out and see if I can get a hold of them. Well, that worked out pretty good. It's the first fish I heard feeding in a while. And uh, I just threw that elk hair caddis size 14 out, left it on the top, and he came up and took it pretty fast. There, he got it right in the corner of his mouth. Put him back in. Not a pile of fish rising, but it's always nice when you see one out there rising. You throw out and you can hook up. He took that bad boy way down his throat. Little pretty little brownie. Pop him back in. The other night, it was nuts. You would just be standing like in the same area, the same exact area. And I would see fish after fish after fish rising. And the bug activity was about the same. Like 
right at dark. I mean, the bug activity was nuts, but the bug activity was about the same it is right now. And I'd just sit there and I could stand in one spot and cast at one fish, then cast at another, then cast at another. But tonight it's totally different. Tonight I'm just standing here and I'm looking and I'm listening and I'm waiting for a riser. And when I see one come up or I hear one come up, I go over and I work that fish. Still a lot of fun. This is more of a challenge, which is fun. But you have to appreciate those days where you can stand in one spot and cast at five different fish because there's so many coming up. I'm just going to stand here and listen and look. And next time I see one rise or hear one rise, I'm going to head over and try to catch it. I'll tell you, not a lot of risers, but when I see one rise, it seems like I can fool it. Uh, this is a meteor fish, heavier than the last few. There's a nice fat wild brownie on a dry. And back into the water. After I catch a fish, I usually take my sleeve right here and I dry my fly off and then I put it in my dry shake. This is a um, loon top ride. Shake it up, it'll come out looking like a marshmallow. But that'll dry it off good, so next time you cast it out, it'll ride nice and high and you can see the take. Boy, is that a nice fat one. Yeah, not a lot of fish surfacing, but if I can find one surfacing, he definitely likes to eat. So, with all these bugs, I'm feeling pretty good about the flies I'm using. Okay, the fly popped out. Let's get this guy out. He's a beauty. Let me tell you see this guy. This is the uh, best one of the day so far. And look at that. This one, beautiful wild brown. Okay, got that guy back in water and it's actually turned out to be a pretty good day. It's fun when you have a challenge like this to where you have to look for a riser and then you have to go and see if you can catch him. And though I haven't caught every riser, I have had pretty good hookup ratio to what I've seen and what I've gone after. So I'm gonna continue to look and hopefully I can find some more rise and then can get into some more fish before dark. Okay, back over. I came up to work this riffle and uh, I just saw a couple more. One looked like a 
decent fish come up right out in here so I'm gonna have to go back over to that soft spot and try to work that again might be a couple fatties over there Not sure how well you're gonna see that. I was pretty far away, but yes indeed, there was another fat one working over there. Let's take a look at this guy. Still full of energy. You saw I put that side pressure on him. That wears him out quick and brings him to the net. It's another beauty. Seems like the big boys are feeding at night. Beautiful wild brown. Look at that one. You're probably seeing a little bit of shake in the camera and that's due to the water. The tripod is out here in the water and we'll put him back in. Yeah, I saw a couple more come up over there and decided to go back over and give it another try. And I don't know if you can tell with the camera light, but it's starting to get a little bit dark. Well, I was gonna go ahead and try to get a couple more on video, but that's a pretty good fish to end the video on. I had a great time on the water. I really thought I was going to come out here and have like a knockout afternoon, but I can't complain about that. It was challenging. If I saw a fish rise, I got a chance to go over and catch it. And most of the time I hooked or I missed the fish. I'd like to thank everybody for following along. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Be sure to follow us also on Facebook and Instagram. And until next time, best of luck on the water. Just got back to the truck. I took my waders off and I turned them inside out. And I do this just about every time I go fishing. You sweat in these waders and they stink. And that's why we have Reek Out. We sell this at LiveTheLegs.com. You want to turn your waders inside out and you want to spray them down. You don't want to get that stink in your waders because it's hard to get rid of once they start stinking. This will take care of you. Check it out, Reek Out. Great product, I've been using it for years. And we're happy to sell it now at LiveTheLegs.com.